I drop my hand, clap once. Applause. Ready? Hand. Applause. Very good. All right. Again, I want to thank your coach for allowing me to come. But I got something. It's really cool. I got a guy who's a Navy SEAL. And if somebody on this team, if you think you're tough, you need to meet this guy. But he played for me at the university and has amazing experiences defending our country. And I wanted to go do something real quick. So if we could have that chair, Phil, and uh, Phil is going to bring both those chairs because that one might break. He needs to sit in both of them at one time. And, and applause. Okay, now we can give him five. You ready? This can be one, two, three, four, five. You ready? All right, now, this is Phil Cud. Phil is an official, so let's all boo Phil. Boo. Okay, he's a referee, refs in college. He's used to being booed and everything. He's screwed up a lot of games in his career. Uh, but he played for me at the university as well. These guys are former teammates. This is not trick duct tape. This is bought at Floyd's Hardware Store. You trust Floyd's Hardware, don't you? Right here in Paradise. What he's going to do is he's going to demonstrate how a Navy SEAL could get free from being restrained. How long do you think it would take him to bust out of that duct tape? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? 30 seconds? Be pretty, about a minute. And fade. If you want to know what Navy, if you want to really be inspired, get the book Lone Survivor. Marcus Luttrell wrote the book Lone Survivor. You will read about how they train. They roll around in the sand. They get in the uh, Pacific Ocean. They come out. They roll around the sand. They carry these telephone poles for miles and all kinds of crazy stuff. But anyway, uh, just watch this. That Paula demo it for you. I'm gonna step back so I'll be out of the way. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, there you have it. Let's give him a hand. Oh, no. Hand. It's not a hand, dude. Oh, and applause. You guys don't even know what you saw right there. <laughs> uh, it was too Paul, you want to say a quick word to the guys before I start? Yeah, guys, uh, thanks for letting me come over today. I appreciate it. I, I've always been a huge fan of Coach T, and I'm totally supporting what he's getting into right now. He's one of my all-time favorite people, let alone coaches. He gave me an opportunity to come down and play for him uh, back in 2003, and he really re renewed my love for the game of basketball. I had I'd played for a few universities before, and I had kind of lost the uh, lost the love of the game, but he he gave me an opportunity. He's become a life coach for me, someone that I really look up to. Even when I just need someone to talk to, I can always pick up the phone. I can call Coach T. I know that he's a he's a mentor for me. When I was going through training, one of the first people I called to let him know what I was doing was Coach. He he's always had my respect, and uh, and there's nobody else in the world that I I could I would want to see in front of a group of a group of men like yourselves and trying to point you in the right direction if there's someone you should look up to and there's someone that you should definitely listen to it's that guy right there football guys is you know it's it's just a game the game of life is very serious and the game of life can be very challenging but there are parallels between football and life that you guys can uh that you guys can point out on your own uh hope you'll just listen to him and make sure you guys are coming together as a team and the, the biggest the biggest thing for me is, is teamwork because there's nothing that I can do as an individual that will ever make me win on my own I can't do anything overseas I can't do anything you know in a stressful situation where I won't need someone else to rely on so the best thing you can do for yourselves is come to come together as a team I really think Coach T can help you uh, point you in the right, right, right direction, show you how to do that, because that was the one thing we had in college was our team was very close-knit, and he knows how to preach that and get that across to you. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a, a great summer football. All right. Thanks, Paul. Really appreciate you being here. All right. My name is Coach T, and I'm an alcoholic. Uh, no, wait a minute. That's the wrong speech. Uh, no, hey, thanks for letting me be here, guys, and hang out with you. You guys have been working for three hours. You're exhausted. I just appreciate the chance to talk to you. And I know your coaches. 
They're great people. They care about you. They don't just care about football. You think they're talking to them about football. They're really talking to you about life. And they don't want to just coach you for four years in high school. They want to coach you throughout your life. They want to keep in touch with you. They want to be the guy that you go to for advice. They want to be the guy that you tell, hey, coach, I'm graduating from college. I'm getting married. We just had a baby. Oh, they want to celebrate those things with you. But I want to talk to you about being a success. Everybody out here wants to be successful. Nobody wants to not be successful. Nobody wants to fail. We all want to be successful. And you take certain steps, and that makes you successful. Okay. For example, if you can bear something that's an injustice, it's not fair. But then you don't have to get even. That's a step toward being successful. If you can sacrifice yourself for the good of somebody else, then that's being successful. When I think of love, when I think of sacrifice, I think of my daughter. My daughter has small children. And her whole life is about raising those little kids. They can't do anything for her. It's a good thing she's unselfish. But she sacrifices, she takes care of them, she's patient with them, she reads to them, she trains them, she loves them, she disciplines them. But that's sacrifice. Those are steps. Now, today I want to start you off with a giant step. Think of steps going up. And at the top is success. The first giant step that you can take towards success, I mean, it's like five steps at one is if you take total responsibility for yourself. The only way I'm ever going to be successful is I've got to take total responsibility for myself. The only way you're going to be successful is to take total responsibility for yourself. You've got to be brutally honest with yourself. Everybody wants to make excuses. Well, you don't understand where I come from, coach. And we were poor and it was hard. And, you know, it's my parents are divorced and that was tough on me. And and a single mom was trying to raise me. She was working, and, and, it, and where I lived, it was, you know, all those things might be legitimate circumstances, but they're not an excuse. There are no excuses. You are where you are today because of the choices you made in the past. I am where I am today because of the choices I made in the past. We might, you might have had a taller mountain to climb. You might have had some things up against you. But you are where you are today because of the choices you made. Hey, your coaches, some of them have faced things you don't know anything about. Coach Brooks has faced some hardships in his life. And he came through. And he's the man he is today because of the choices he made. He didn't say, well, that's my excuse. I'm just checking out. No, he didn't do that. you got to take total responsibility for yourself, man. There are no excuses. There are no explanations. Well, you know, Coach, I, I, I would have been there on time, but what ha ha happened was uh, I, I thought my uh, cat was going to have puppies. Yeah, that's what it was. And, uh, hey, now look, there are no explanations. There are no excuses. There is no whining and moaning and complaining. I'm a diabetic. I take three shots every day. That is not the highlight of my day. I hate that, but I take those shots. It isn't going to do me any good to whine and moan and complain. The administration at this school, they don't want to hear me whine and moan and complain about, well, I'm an old grandpa and I'm 56 years old. You put me in that little bitty classroom. Tyler, you've been in my classroom. Is that thing little or what? Tiny. Tiny. I might have 25, 26, 28 kids in there. They're 14 years old and half of them are crazy. I'm 56 years old. I don't have the energy I used to have. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear that I'm a diabetic. Oh, poor little me. When my blood sugar gets too high, I'm in a fog and I can't, I've searched for words. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. When it gets too low, that's dangerous. Now, I don't want, I don't want to give you the opinion that nobody around here cares about me. That's not true. I think they'd rather me not, you know, have a seizure, pass out. But the bottom line is nobody cares that I'm a diabetic. What they care about is, can you do the job, coach? Do you care about the kids, coach? Are you going to be in class on time? Are you going to be prepared? Are you going to teach them, reach them, love them, motivate them? That's what they want to know. So there are no explanations. There are no excuses. 
There are no, uh, 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 com there is no complaining. I want you to think about this, men. You got to take total responsibility for yourself. Don't blame your position coach. Don't blame your teammate. Don't blame your sister. Don't blame your mom or your dad. Take total responsibility for yourself. Put your big boy pants on, cowboy up, and be responsible for yourself. If you'll do that and not make excuses, we got a chance to do something really special. Really special. In a place that loves football like very few places love football. You could give these folks, they're starving. You could give them something really special. But we got to take total responsibility. We cannot be making excuses. Some of you probably want to play college football. I'm going to tell you right now, to play college football, there's three things you can't be and play college football. You can't be selfish. It won't work. You can't be a Navy SEAL and be selfish. Those guys are a team. They work together. They rely on each other. You can't be selfish. Somebody's got to block. Somebody's got to break up the wedge. Somebody's got to do the dirty work. You cannot be selfish. You've got to be a team guy. You can't be shady. You want to play college football? You can't be up all night. You can't be not in your playbook. You can't be hanging around with people that are going to get you in trouble and take you places you shouldn't go. You can't do it. You got to be somebody that the team can rely on. You got to say no. No, I'm not going to go out to the club and mess around. You got to turn your video game off. And you got to get your rest. Why? So you can get up and go to class. Why? So you can get up and go to meetings. Why? So you can get up and get your lift on and train before you go to class. You can't be shady. You can't be turning in work that's not yours and saying it's yours. You can't be cheating. If you do those things, we can't count on you. And that brings me to trust. Are you shady? Or are you somebody we can trust? Are you selfish? Or are you somebody that cares about the team? And the third thing you can't be is you can't be soft. This is a man's game. There's nothing soft about it. I got little granddaughters. Played a game with one of them last night. I dang near won. My granddaughters play Candyland. This ain't Candyland, man. This is football. You might be a step slow. You might need to get in the weight room, get your lift on, get a little tougher. I'm not talking about the curls for girls. I'm talking about the stuff that's going to help us win. But you can't be soft. You cannot do it. We can't get where we want to go if you're soft. Don't think about the guy next to you. Think about yourself. Do you take total responsibility for yourself? You've got to be accountable. You've got to be ruthlessly honest with yourself. And then the next thing you've got to do is you've got to have total commitment. All the way commitment. You've got to have a laser-like focus. I can drive my car and kiss my wife at the same time. Do you think I would do a very good job at either one of those? If I did it at the same time? No. It takes a laser-like focus. Now look, guys. Back in the days when this was how you protected yourself, and we know something about swords. You're Trojans, right? This is a pretty big sword. You can do some damage with this sword. Now here's the thing about the sword. The sword's got three parts. This part right here is the blade. You want to make sure people get the point. This is the handle. That's how you hold on to it. When you're out there on the battlefield and it's hot and humid like it is today, man, you get sweaty. Your hands get sweaty. You got blood on your hands. The thing gets slippery. So there's something on the sword to keep you from hurting yourself. And that's this part of the sword right here. That is called the hilt. The hilt protects you from getting hurt. And there's a saying to the hilt. To the hilt, 
means all the way. Guys, we're not here to just stick somebody. We're not here to jab, stab them a little bit. We're here to take that sword and run it all the, we're gonna run them all the way through to the hilt, completely, all the way. No hold back. Shove all your chips in the middle of the table and say, I'm all in with this season. You take total responsibility for yourself. You play to the hilt. Everything you got, CJ. Everything you got, buddy. I'm going to tell you what, we're going to be proud of you. And you'll be proud of yourself. You can look yourself in the eye. That's the most important. That's why you play this game. I'm not against winning. I'm not against banners and rings and all that. That's great. To be able to look yourself in the eye and know you gave it everything you got. And to tell your buddy, Jared, I gave it everything I had, man. I didn't cheat you. I gave it all. Caleb, I gave it all. You do that, you have a season we can all be proud of. Man, guys, thanks for your time. Hope you have a great season. God bless every one of you.